Hi there, signs of Virgo. This is Kim here to do your reading. And this reading is, of course, your next 48 hours. Hope you're doing really well. Let's get right into this reading. And I think, um, what's I going to do, guys? I think I'm going to do a, like, second part of the month, like, ahead reading, too. So, Virgo, this is just your next 48 hours, but let's see what it, we have in store using Osho Zen Tarot. Shazen Tarot, what you got? Bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck is nice, actually. It's a tower energy, but it comes across in this deck as like having an epiphany um, or a breakthrough. Like, so, so that's good. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Nice. So your reading's good. Sagittarius has been... Readings have just been consistently good lately. Ooh, yours are like not far, obviously not far behind. <laughs> you have good cards coming out. Um, Six of Cups. Ooh, what's that about? We'll find out what that is about. Um, magician Energy. The holding your hand. Oh, wow. Holding your hands out there. Look, this is continuing. Whatever this is, this is going on. And it, it won't stop. Like, <laughs> whatever this is that you've got going on that's good with money. Because that is the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. So, this card is kind of representing um, the Tower card. It's number 16. Oh, okay. Let's see. What deck do we want to use to... Um, clarify. Let's use, yeah, let's use Rider Weight. All right. All right, so your Ten of Cups was here in the past energy. Wow, 10, 10. And, and something is truly going to come around and lift your, like, whatever got you to that Ten of Cups there in the past. Um, more than likely, this is the Ten of Wands in reverse is indicating you shifting things around, reprioritizing. Um, and then that just, it continues. That energy continues. Um because the Six of Cups is feeling really nostalgic. It's either thinking back on someone from the past or it is um, like family or soul connection. Um, your Seven of Cups is uh, kind of like how you perceive others. The Seven of Cups is how, how you're perceiving the one other. Let me say it like that. Or the options that you have. Because this card is, like, I see it as your perception being, like, mirrored, mirroring somebody else's, having the same interest as someone else, and things like that. So, that's a really good energy, too. Not all the choices are completely known, but that is also known already, because this is in the heart of the matter. So, the main issue, though, is you'll either be meeting your soulmate energy or this was who you met here that provided that Ten of Cups, you know, kind of atmosphere or environment, I guess you could say. Um, the Devil card is your challenge. Um, knowing that uh, that you're one of a kind and that you can always achieve um, whatever goals you have material materialistically. But don't get too wrapped into any of that because... Um, 
that can have bad effects on us. So we have to, that's the moderation part. And it either means in relationships or with your um, money. Most likely money. And something kind of earthly. Now, let's clarify this a little bit more. Because the Seven of Cups, like I said, that, that might have to do with someone that like has the same interest as you. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. The Queen of Wands. Okay. In the reverse. So this person is just very shy. This person is just very, very shy. Um, because the Queen of Wands energy is like, or and this might be you, um, because it is, you know, clarifying your reading. So you might not know all the options because somebody might be shy or you might not have met them yet. That's maybe more like the case because for most of you, not all, but there's financial gain or windfall, unless that is connected with someone that you're also, um, you know, coupled with, then maybe. Uh, the Four of Swords in the reverse is how you're feeling. So you're feeling like you need to take some time out, like you've been working hard, or you need to get some more rest and relaxation, or some time out, or it's time for a time out to be up, and there's no fighting and no confrontation because you are still in a healing phase. Okay, so the magician here is paired, and this usually means um, limitless possibilities. I don't agree with all of the cards, like, so I had to make them all just intuitively reading them. So I could say that, yeah, there's probably limitless possibilities, but it's based on your ability to manifest them, which is good. And I see you being really disciplined about this with the King of Swords crowning you. So this energy is just really in control. Yeah, it now, yeah, so I don't know how you view that, but this energy is very in control, very disciplined, um, by the book type of deal. So that's why we get into a really interesting part in your reading. And the interesting part is your future energy because of it being the Seven of Swords. And it usually says politics on it, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So it can also be that somebody's very shy, so they hold up this mask maybe because they're actually timid. In either way, it's like you feel like you just don't know someone very well. So let's clarify. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep bumping into that, don't I? Let's clarify this Seven of Swords. Oh, wow. The Ten of Pentacles. Rebuilding. And the tower on the bottom. Rebuilding. Look, whatever you've got going on, or whoever you meet, or whoever has been making you happy and is your Ten of Cups, is what's going on. It's part of the challenge, but there's like a lot of Pentacles involved here with this future energy. So I don't necessarily see this as a bad thing. I see somebody just being shy because possibly they have a lot of money. I don't know. Or because this is your family, right? And it could be something about tactics and then that keeps that in the family or something like that, you know? Hmm. Okay, so the magician energy, your um, limitless possibilities for that. Tell me about that. Limitless possibilities, the magician here. Well, that's nice. It's a wish granted. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> I only say that because of that. So be careful what you wish for, especially if you're still hurt over something or some kind of event. Um, 
because the lover's energy it offers good decision making like that time that that is the energy of knowing exactly kind of clearly what you want um who you want to be with and all of those things and you have the king of cups probably a challenge is uh maintaining the right emotional balance here Tell me about the Knight of Cups. The Two of Wands as the challenge. That's about this decision. So, because there's, it's saying that there's like a huge decision right now in the environment for you to make for manifestations. The two of wands is looking at all possibilities to move forward, um, really without excluding any. So maybe the challenge is seeing that there is more possibilities there than what you've listed. I would say that this is like an ongoing thing. Of course, it's the next 48 hour. It's probably an ongoing thing because you have the world card in reverse, but you have the nine of pentacles um, with it. So that means there's big financial windfall and it's not done with. It's not over. So this is really, really good energy for you. Hey, Virgo. Good. Rebuilding. Talk about rebuilding no matter what others say. That's um in this bottom of this deck. Okay, so let's get you a modern goddess oracle. I love this deck. It's so pretty. Okay, and we will see what message comes out for you. Hey, I have Hectate. Hectate on the bottom, the guide. All right, and that's the um, guidebook. All right, Hectate. No, Hecate. He Hecate. 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 Um, let's see what it says. Wow, yeah. Yeah, look. See, it says keyword is crossroads, which is that's being at the crossroads, right? Big decision. So your affirmation is I'm empowered in my decision making. Heck. Hecate is a powerful crone Greek goddess of magic, witchcraft, and the moon. She is known for her connection with the spirit realm and with the goddess of crossroads. <laughs> oh, is the goddess of crossroads. I'm like, what is that? Oh, it says these crossroads include the one between the physical and the spirit world and the crossroads of decisions too, as she can see the past, present, and future at the same time. She holds a torch that lights the way to truth and wisdom through the darkness. <laughs> she also carries a knife that cuts any ties to the past. Hecate has a special connection with dogs too, both alive and ghosts. She has a connection to Cerebus, the three-headed the three -headed hound that guards the door to the underworld. It says, you are coming to a crossroads that requires you to make an important decision. There's no real wrong choice. Um, it says, yeah, yeah, it is your decision to either cut ties with the past or um, to maybe be a torch as a guide for somebody else's decision making. I don't know. So I, that's going to be... Um, from your perspective. And that's how this tarot's uniquely for Virgos. So sending you love and light. Thank you so much for joining me. Like and subscribe. It helps. It makes me really happy and I appreciate you. Okay, bye-bye.